hello and welcome to the third video of helm chart series so in this video we will basically see about helm lint and if you have gone through my previous videos you know well right where we stand like we have seen how to install helm what is helm like helm, helm is a package manager using which we will get uh, yaml files we don't need to write those all files we just need to modify and we can in a single command we can uh, deploy multiple services at a time in the helm chart itself we will get uh, how we will get uh, values.yml file how we can make use of that to variableize the helm so in if you don't if you know if you want to know more about that please go through my previous video series okay which is lying in the same playlist so today we will be talking about helm lint so think of a scenario like you have installed helm on your system and using helm you have generated yaml files okay so and without validating if you will directly deploy this to your production server it is going to be a big fail right so to as a remedy for this uh, failure how we can incur this failure so we have something helm lint command so what will happen like whenever you will generate this chart or create this chart using helm your yaml files then after writing all the files after modifying all the files you will just run helm lint and it will validate your file either you have any syntax error or not okay so from that you will come to know and you will make the make those changes and you can pre-validate before the deployment so this was all about the helm lint uh, theory let's go to the server and let's see how it work basically okay let's move to the lab part so here i have already running a mini cube cluster which is a single node cluster here i have just now restarted the mini cube you can see and now we can go so let's see do we have any existing helm charts or not Okay, so this was our helm chart which we have created in the last series. Okay, so one is running right. Let's delete this. Helm delete and you just have to give this name. Okay. okay so it's this helm chart is uninstalled let's see again okay so now let's go and so let's go ahead and create our first helm chart so what is the command help create and let's name it like helm lint something okay hit enter create okay just hit enter okay you can see helm is creating okay so now you can see the structure so what you have to type this tree your helm lint you can see you got your like i have in the earlier lecture i have told you like the main packages are only three char.yml where you will maintain all your version conf version in the description of this helm chart along with that you have a templates folder in which it is containing deployment file your service.yml file and the mo last and the most important your values.yml file where you will variableize this all thing and make use of it okay so once this is done let's uh, let's deploy this package okay so before that let's do some changes let's go to templates file let's get inside this helmlint list let's go to templates 
so we have this much of files let's edit our deployment file okay so this is our file let's go down go down go down this is the end so here you can see all the deployment related related information are here variableized okay let's go to the service file okay So here we will get all the information related to the service files okay so let's before making any changes let's uh, once validate this okay so let's get out of all the templates so currently I am in my home okay so here let's see let's validate this using lint command first helm lint and your package name okay so you can see one chart linted and zero chart failed right okay so this is this is fine now what to do let's go to the file now i am doing some changes okay and after that we will make it fail so that we can see how this command is helping us so let's go to the folder Let's go to the value.yml file. Let's change the service. So you can see right now it is a type, its type is clustered IP, which is accessible inside the container itself, means the queue cluster level it is accessible let's make it to node port so that we can externally access this once this is done just save and quit okay so what is the next command we do how do we create our release right now we have to install this helm chart by naming a release so how do we do that helm install okay my my release and which for what you want to make this release helm lint right helm lint just failed to download let's check again okay so because i am right now residing inside this only right so how can i provide this so what do you have to do here you are in current directory right you have to make release of current directory once you will hit enter you can see we got the revision one right we got your revision one along with that you will get this message means your uh, uh, whatever you have, were trying to achieve your release has been successful so once this is done let's see our releases helm list hyphen a so you can see my release is created here okay so let's see let's see all the services which is running so right now you can see this service we have created of for node port and we got this 30868 port number right so let's check out this 30868 let's go back take your IP hit enter and you can see this page came right welcome welcome to nginx so that is fine because our helm lint was successful now let's go ahead and let's delete let's make some mistakes okay 
Let's go again to the values.yml file. Okay. And here just remove anything. Okay. Let's remove this image itself. Okay. Let's save. Quit. Okay. So let's clear the screen. Okay. Now, how we do lint? Um, lint. And what was your file name? Which directory? this current directory right okay so linting correct so you can see you are getting the error unable to parse ml line number 8 of values.yml you are getting some issues that's why your templates cannot load your values.yml file right so it it is not showing you directly what error you are facing but it is indicating like the line number you have to make changes so let's go to the values.yml file and let's make the changes okay before that let's okay let's go to the values.yml file so here we have deleted right this it is done now again to the helm lint so error word chart linted so again it is failing right you can see now it is saying chart.yml icon is recommended so you can see template uh, this repository is unable to still unable to uh, download the repository image right so let's go ahead let's go again to the helm init file let's set it to the values.yml and right you have wrote image images right instead of images let's go get out of the file let's lint it again so what was the command helm lint and helm chart so you can see here right one chart linted and zero chart fill so like this you can do you can pre-validate before your uh, uh, before your deployment uh, against your production servers so thanks for watching in the next session we will watch how can we use helm template command okay thanks